Penny Pasta. Now, Namco Bandai, or should we say Scamco Bandai, <laughs> is not above pretty much exploiting any kind of monetization policy it can get its grubby little hands on. From on-disc DLC to the sale of gold and experience levels in RPGs, Namco Bandai's tried its hand at everything. And now it's dipped its wick into that old standby, sectioning off previously available content to sell as DLC. Oh yes, the the game isn't out yet, but that hasn't stopped Nanko Bandai from announcing a day one DLC for one of its fighters. And if you're still one of these people who somehow believe game companies do not gate off content, carve it out of a game and give it back to us for more money, the DLC fighter in question is Tira, a mainstay character who's been with the series since 2005, yet now finds herself gated off in order to, shock horror, be sold to us for extra money. She will be available to buy as standalone downloadable content, we wonder how downloadable it is, or if you buy the season pass, because every game's gotta have a season pass, she'll be available as part of that too. Namco's original announcement of this was a little bit confusing since it made it sound like Tira was available as a pre-order bonus for the season pass. Tira is available as a bonus character in the Soul Calibur 6 Season Pass. Pre-order the Season Pass today to receive Tira on Day 1, as well as three additional playable characters and armor packs in the future. Tira will also be available for individual purchase. They later cleared that up by saying Tira will be included in the Season Pass as a bonus character whenever you purchase it, and she will also be available as a Day 1 standalone DLC. She is not a pre-order bonus. Our apologies for the confusion. And really, what state is the game? industry in that you have to clarify something like that. I mean, on its own though, still, pre-order the season pass today. Pre-order a season pass? A season pass is a pre-order, and it's already ludicrous, because you're pre-ordering DLC that you know nothing about. Pre-order a season pass? Are you fucking kidding me? Not that that hasn't been done before, of course. I mean, in pre-order culture, they want you to pre-order everything. They'd have you pre-order your own fucking hair before it grows as a baby, if they could. But I've not talked about it before. I mean, honestly, the game industry, pretty much as I predicted, is taking the piss more and more with season passes. Now that they've become pretty damn normalised, game companies are once again experimenting with what the fuck they can get away with. Can we have multiple season passes in a game? Yes. Can we make only vague promises about the content that's coming and sell a season pass that way? Yes. Can we take previously available content from the series and hide it behind a season pass? Yes, yes, yes. Soul Calibur fans who previously mained Tira are of course a little bit upset, a little bit concerned. I'm sure many of those people wanted to buy the season pass anyway, but to strong arm it this way is just really fucking shitty. And all kinds of monetization fuckery is especially bad in a fighting game where people do main certain characters, people get into a series because of a certain character. And the moment you take one of those characters that people have come to love and play and get used to out of the mix to put back in into the mix for an additional fee, you are absolutely being fucking exploitative. Now many of you will know I don't exactly play fighting games, I respect them, I like to watch them being played, but it's a type of game that I never got used to. However, I do keep an eye on the monetization policies surrounding fighting games because any game with a roster, a roster based game series, is so ripe for monetization abuse and we're starting to see it more and more, I may have to do a Jimquisition about that that very soon. The way fighting games are designed around a large stable of characters allows publishers to pick and choose what ones are we going to hold to ransom. How many people have enjoyed playing this character, have mained this character and will be willing to give us a little bit extra, a little bit more money to have that character back. And that's what we're seeing more of now, publishers with popular fighting game series seeing how far they can push the envelope, because that's what it's all about, it's what it's always been about. How far can we take our bullshit 
before people get too upset with us. It's the transparency of it all that's so amazing. They're being blatant about it now. They're not even hiding the fact that DLC and season passes are previously available content that's been ripped out and then shoveled back in. And beyond even entertaining the argument anymore that that's not what they do. Game publishers have proven time and time again if they can get away with it, they will do it. So people can spare me the justifications nowadays. Namco Bandai is taking the piss simply because it can. And that's why a series mainstay since 2005 is now locked behind a paywall because of course. Welcome to video games.